this uh, uh, session of uh, the ceasefire webinar series what we do in this uh, in this uh, series is we try to throw light on uh, one star technology from uh, ceasefire at a particular point of time and then share all details around that technology uh, so before we get on to the specifics of the session uh, you know once again thank you everyone uh, for taking our time and joining us uh, today uh, on this live webinar the product that we have on focus today, uh, viewers, has been a star product for way too long. You know, so this is uh, the Scorpio of Mahindra uh, that has been, you know, on the flagship uh, league uh, for uh, uh, for very long. Uh, we're talking about the compressed air foam system technology from Seafile that was introduced way back in the year 2010. Of course, from that time. You know, it has improvised, uh, you know, uh, in leaps and bounds and many uh, iterations have happened. But right from the start, when this uh, technology was brought to the table, you know, and introduced in the market sp uh, space, this was overwhelmingly received. You know, this was, the response was so good because of the sheer power, the, power, the sheer, the composition uh, of, of uh, this technology, where we're talking about Water mist and foam combination, you know, uh, in a in a way which packs in tremendous amount of power, power uh, to to the firefighter, you know, and uh, this is now capable of taking up any large flames, especially the B class, uh, uh, you know, fires that we're talking about. Uh, this has been an excellent solution for that. Uh, so we'll be talking about uh, gas the compressed air foam system today and throwing all details around this technology, how we have the two variants in the backpack and the trolley, the nine liter, the 10 liters and the 50 liters, sorry, uh, in the low pressure, high pressure technology, uh, how this is a external cartridge based technolo technology, which, you know, just puts it out of the lead, uh, you know, uh, uh, viewers and how this particular system has been so well received, uh, you know, by, industry uh, across segments. So whether you talk about defense, armed forces, uh, manufacturing establishments, everybody is kind of uh, really uh, uh, appreciated this technology from ceasefire, especially when we went, uh, you know, overseas, in the overseas markets, uh, this has again be, uh, been a, a front product program. technology, uh, you know, uh, from us, uh, as far as the uh, extinguisher category is concerned. So once again, we have today Pranav with us, uh, our technology expert, and uh, yeah, he'll, he'll be having a good uh, conversational uh, you know, uh, thing with him today on this technology. But, uh, why don't we speak something about you know, how, uh, what CAF's strength is all about. Absolutely. So uh, see, uh, CAF is available in uh, two categories, uh, low pressure and high pressure, nine liter and 50 liter in low pressure uh, capacity and uh, nine, uh, 10 liter and 50 liter in high pressure. So where we're talking low pressure, we're talking about operating pressures about uh, 11 bars. Yeah. And when we're talking about uh, high pressure, we're talking about uh, operating pressures at 34 bars. 34. Now in both these categories, what CAFS is all about, um, as the name says, you know, compressed air foaming system. We have over here a system where we are forcefully aerating the foam solution. Yeah. There's natural uh, aeration when we are looking at, you know, commercial uh, foaming system. But here we are actually forcing uh, compressed air to aerate the foam aerated. system. Now, what this does is it creates so much of spacing or so much of bubbling inside the foam that it creates a lot of air pockets. Now, you know, air is a very bad conductor of heat. Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, foaming uh, technique creates such a thick foam that you have a very nice blanket to put out very high intensity uh, 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 flames with very little amount of agent. Okay, you're not looking that amount of agent in this thing. Okay. So this is what compressed air foam system strength is all about. And then again, uh, with the foaming system, you also get that adhesion to uh, horizontal surfaces and also the adhesion to A class fire, where you know the uh, the foam sticks on and it yeah. keeps that water content close to in that, that uh, 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 surface allowing more time for heat absorption. So a better A-class extinguishment too and more shorty over there. 
So this is the strength of CAPS, compressed air foaming right. system. And that is why it has been accepted so well in India and abroad. And the sheer portability of the system, you, know, you mount it on a bike, you, uh, you know, mount it on, uh, on your back and, you know, take it anywhere you want to take it. Both are low pressure and high pressure systems, uh, as Vishal said, you know, you mount it on your back, quickly wear it. Uh, there are belt clips available in low pressure where you can hang your uh, nozzle on, on that. Uh, the whole design of the, you know, the carrier is shaped to the wearer's or to the operator's back. So it evenly distributes the whole weight onto his back and there's no chances of getting hurt. While the uh, nozzle can keep hanging on his belt, he can, you know, use both his hands freely to, you know, break through uh, obstructions, uh, remove fire from his, uh, uh, this thing, uh, parts yeah. and do effective firefighting. And the way these systems are operated, the firefighter can very easily reach out, you know, to pressurize the cylinder and depressurize the cylinder right. very easily without the help of a third person or a, uh, another person helping him out on that. Part. An excellent tool we're talking about. This oh. really comes in handy for the firefighter. We're talking now, about when we're talking, when we're talking about, you know, high heat intensity, we're talking about large fires. We are also That's talking, right. you know, that we need to first do firefighting for far off. Yeah. So this is what the reach is about, around 13 to 14 meters of reach. Which is going to be very handy in doing firefighting for afar, and then you know, uh, as the fire diminishes and the radiation yeah. goes down, we go uh, go closer and we you know put out the fire. And the biggest part about it is that the low pressure system has the water mist category. Yeah. Now, this water mist would give you about you know approximately 135 microns uh, in uh, size of uh, foam mist, yeah. and this gives you a very effective you know heat uh, uh, yeah. uh, barrier from the radiation coming in from high intensity fires. Yeah. So you have the strength of a jet system, you have a strength of a, a spray system, coverage, uh, uh, high intensity heat fire capabilities in both classes A and B, and then BSI tested now. Yeah. Some of the models are now BSI tested. Please check with us whenever you want to uh, set some, something of these sorts. So you so have BSI test, testing test, available. Test protect also. table, uh, the trolley mounted is even E and three approved uh, 1866. under the E and one eight six six category. Yes. Let's talk about the nozzle, the, the gun for a minute. So, you know th that is the magical component in the in, in the in, system. In, That's what does the real job here. Now, Vishal, we have two uh, two kinds of system as I said. So <laughs> let's talk about the low pressure uh, gun in the low pressure sure. system. The, the gun in the low pressure system works on uh, 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 the same dual medium. Uh, uh, or twin fluid technology, in which what happens is we have aerated air, which is uh, at high pressure. Yeah. It is brought down to a low pressure using a, 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 this pressure reducer. Yeah. And then it is divided into two parts. The air uh, component goes directly onto the gun and it is projected within the gun at a very high velocity. Now to this, we introduce, you know, the foam content, which is forced out through the second uh, pipeline, uh, which uh, forces out the foam from the container, takes it to the nozzle, and this form is then introduced into the high uh, velocity jet stream. And here it gets aerated in the nozzle, uh, in the gun, and then it is projected out. So the biggest advantage of this type of a gun is that, you know, you get a very high kinetic energy without any, you know, uh, uh, major recoil. And second of all, we have a very fantastic nozzle top on these uh, guns, mm -hmm. which allows you to shift as per your requirement instantaneously mm -hmm. from jet to spray mode. Correct. Okay, so even while you're operating it, you can shift that. So True. this is the biggest USP in our low pressure system. The high pressure system gives you a jet spray. Okay, and uh, it's a constant spray kind of thing. And it is a nozzle has a constant coverage and a throw factor. And as and when you, you know, operating it from afar, as and when the jet stream goes down, you can go closer and you can do the same kind of uh, yeah. effect. So just for the convenience of the viewers, I just want you to take it a little slow and Maybe uh, reiterate uh, how the pressure thing works. You know, you, this is, of course, an external cartridge-based system where you have a two-liter uh, uh, cylinder for the uh, backpack, pressurize a 300 bar, mm -hmm. and there you try to create a working pressure about eight bar at the nozzle by, by that valve that you have and creating that working pressure. Yes. Uh, and then the real job of, uh, you know, the, the mist uh, 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 production and the aeration is happening at the nozzle level. At the nozzle level. At the, at the nozzle level. Absolutely right. Yeah. So see what happens is uh, uh, the volume of air that is required. It, it is the reason why uh, the aerated cylinders uh, come along with uh, these systems. 
to compress the air to such an extent that you know you have enough volume to run the cylinders. Right. So your uh, high pressure system comes with a two liter, uh, 200 bar uh, aluminum cylinder <coughs> with a, a six kg aluminum cylinder at 300 bar, uh, uh, mild steel cylinder at 300 bar. Yes. The same yes. thing is available for low pressure systems also. Okay. So, uh, and low pressure system, uh, our mild steel cylinders are at 300 bar uh, as we are uh, using them. So now both the systems have the uh, two liter cylinders in the backpack with uh, this thing, uh, 200 bar of pressure. So now in both the systems, the same thing happens. You have a high pressure cylinder, you reduce the pressure using a pressure reducer. That uh, same uh, pipeline is divided into two in the low pressure system. In the high pressure system on the other end, we use a singular line this pushes out the content uh, out of the cylinder and then takes it to a mixing chamber, which is on top. In the mixer, the air and the content mixes and it gets aerated and a singular line from this mixing chamber Perfect. takes takes it forward to the gun. So this is for high pressure. In low pressure, as I told you earlier. The thing happens at the gun. Yes, you have two mediums which arise at the uh, gun, the high velocity uh, air, will be introduced with foam content where it will be aerated and then projected out with very high kinetic energy. Lovely. Uh, let's talk about the applications of uh, the system for a while before we delve into the live demonstration of this technology and let the viewers also enjoy how it takes on real fires. So CAF systems, uh, how this has been such a uh, 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 and such a lovely, uh, 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 wonderfully received uh, technology for the armed forces, manufacturing units, NDRF, you name it, you know, people who really want firefighting. Amazing, amazing, go for it. amazing number of credentials. Uh, uh, the users of CAFs and appreciators of CAFs, there's an amazing uh, credential over there. Uh, you name it and uh, you might find it on the credential list. Correct. So the, you can say uh, paint industry, you can say aircraft industry, you can say uh, military. Paint, uh, absolutely, yeah. We are talking over here where you can throw us the maximum or you can throw us the highest heat intensities uh, across to us. And we have equipment over here that can battle it. Correct. So this is the strength of the cats. And uh, as I told you, even uh, due to this... Uh, high adhesion uh, capabilities with thick foam. You can also apply it on horizontal surfaces okay. and it still sticks on. And uh, you know, that is the, that is what I find most interest, interesting. Uh, we have other commercial fire services, but this is the strength of caps, you know, uh, sticking onto the surfaces, allowing the agent to be there, uh, absorbing uh, heat from the source. And we know for sure, mm -hmm. if you remove heat, there's no reignition. Absolutely. That is what. Now let's talk about another strength of uh, our uh, system, the dielectric. Yes. Uh, that means these uh, nozzles have been tested for one meter distance for thousand volts of electricity where you can apply this system and the user is not affected or electrical. So uh, many times people uh, talk about, you know, can we use it on transformers? Yes, yes you can use it on high velocity transformers. <laughs> uh, if they are at, uh, a range which is greater than what we have told you that about 35 kVA, uh, 1000 volts. If it's higher, then all you have to do is not do it at one meter. You have to do it at five meters. Yes. So the throw is about 13 to 40 meters. You can do it from there also. And of course, you'll be using the 50 liter, if, you know, the size of the uh, transformer increases. So yes, you can do it. So uh, it is only that, you know, the certification is uh, at one meter as described by EN3-7 and that is what it is certified to. And we're talking about humongous fire rating. You know, that's another thing that we want to talk about. You know, in the portable category, we've gone as high as 55A and 233B. Even 47A will be available. Yeah, and uh, in the high category, the trolley mounted, you had, uh, we're talking about uh, again 27A. 233B, 2B. 2B, sorry. Now, 2B fire, let me explain the 2B fire. A lot of time people ask us, you know, what is a 2B fire? It's not like Shakespeare 2B or not 2B. Yeah. It is, it is, uh, it's a 2B, Roman 2B fire, where what we're stating is that you have a 233B tray with 186 the liters on it at the center. And then you have 221B trays horizontally placed next to it. So you have to extinguish all these three trays in one go. So this is what 2B is all about. So that is the strength of CAF. So, um, 
uh, if we were looking at cats as a uh, as a firefighting uh, firefighter's favorite choice, we won't be wrong. Then this is the reason. The, the rating is actually the function of the entire power that it brings to the table, you know, and, and that, that's the reason. It's such an amazing technology. And I'm sure, you know, Vishal, people who have actually seen a 233B fire will appreciate what 2B fire would be. You know, you can actually feel the radiation from about 10 to 20 feet. Okay. And even then, you know, uh, our caps are capable of working because, you know, when you have the mist formation, you get that protection from radiation. Oh, I remember we were filming uh, when, uh, you know, for one of the uh, pro products and it was a 233B uh, 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 three, three fire that we had uh, put, you know, in the background. It was uh, evening time, the flames, the, the height it was reaching, you know, it was impossible to see that. Such a small extinguisher can eventually put it out. Put it out, you know. But and then you're talking about adding two more layers to it. Uh, you know, is is fantastic. It is fantastic. So, so without uh, taking any further time, let's uh, switch to the demonstration video, and uh, you guys can keep all of your questions ready, uh, and we'll be happy to answer all of them for you. Uh, but before everything else, let's switch. Uh, okay, so let's uh, show you the demonstration of this thing. And please remember, uh, stay with us, uh, post the demonstration video. Please go to the Q and A section and put your put queries. Do not put it on chat. Exactly. We will lose you over there. Put it on Q and A section, which will be at the bottom of your screen on your Zoom session. Okay. Uh, so just let me play this video for you. <laughs> Now we have the 9 liter low pressure tank with us, compressed air forming system. Uh, we have a 2 liter carbon composite cylinder at 300 bar over here with 9 liter of water and foam inside this main SS cylinder. This is 8.5 liter of water and 500, uh, 0.5 liter of uh, foam in it. Now, this is what's going to happen. We are going to put this cylinder on our firefighter over here. See how the back aligns with its own back to prevent any injury from happening. <laughs> we put on the belt flap. Now he hangs his nozzle on the hanger and he's ready for pipe fighting. And this is going to be a big fire. Let's put some safety on it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put the methane in a tray which we have prepared. We are going to step back in that direction to about 12 meters. And we're going to light a fire. And he's going to put this uh, system on jet four, start fighting the fire from there. As the fire diminishes, he comes closer. He will turn his nozzle from jet to spray mode and put on the fire. Already ready to fire this is there. Okay, so activate the sender. He will reach out back and he will open the main bag on the propellant cylinder. And the cylinder is now ready for use. Light fire, fire will step back. Further, further, apart. let's go back. So we are now around 12 meters away from fire. This is the great thing about water based and foam based. You know, as compared to powder based extinguishers, it has very good visibility, both the uh, extinguished strength and even at the time of use. It really helps uh, in firefighting and also in general evacuation activity. Right fire. The flame is on. Let's give it 10 seconds. 10, 9, put your mother in jet mode. Ready? Start. Spray mode. Now 
That's it. My claim is out. Look at the quality of the foam, look at the thickness of the foam. This is what happens with cats. When you forcefully aerate the foam, it has a very great adhesion power. Even if you are applying it on horizontal surfaces above you, it will stick on over there. So thank you so much for joining me. Bye. Ravi, I enjoyed watching this all over again. You know, I was there with that, uh, this thing was being filmed, but uh, such good quality foam, uh, you know, uh, we'll be talking about. That, is, uh, that, that thickness, you know, uh, it has that resistance to that high heat. Yeah. If, 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 if uh, you know, it, it is the surface tension which is created with such, uh, such kind of foam, which allows that much entrapment of air yeah. and uh, allows the heat absorption gradually, you know, and uh, Actually, the actual removal of heat requires that agent being there. Mm -hmm. We always remember, you know, if you have water or you have foam with yes, natural yes, aeration yes. and you are applying it, most of it just goes away. And, not and, and with a little skill, you see, <clears throat> I needn't have used so much of foam even while, uh, you know, doing this firefighting, yeah. but we wanted to show, you know, how quickly we can okay. put it out. I could have just sprayed a little amount, let the foam spread and, and you know, yeah. and then do its work. So the content which was used is actually quite a lot. Yeah, for a, that. that, that's what the firefighter was also intending to do in the beginning. And he just left the flame to just die it out on, on its own. But then, I, as you rightly mentioned, the intention was to show how quickly we can put it out. Not, yeah, no. But, you know, we could have just stepped back. We uh, could have just stepped uh, back, let the foam spread gradually and, you know, uh, right, put right. it out. Because we are very sure it is going to happen. Right. So unless until we require a little more support, we we needed you know spray that much. Right. So that is why and even a, such a small cylinder, this was this was nothing much of you know nothing more than that. But then again, uh, we are assuring you two thirty three B. We have done so many trials. There are so yes. many videos available to look at. So it. many videos. And uh, we we actually have done so many videos for the military and the navy. Yes. Where uh, you know, of course, we don't we couldn't record it. But any available on the ceasefirelive.com in the cap category and some of them are really. Mean I think I think uh, you require no certification for the cylinder if you know if the military has bought it. Yes. They have done the due diligence into seeing that yes. this is this is what they want. So I, I think we need no other certification for this product. But I'm curious to know, how does aeration add into the adhesiveness of the thing? If you aerate some substance, does it also add to the stickiness of it? It is it's, it's, it's just that, you know, uh, a foam uh, is much more lighter. Yeah. Okay, so uh, even water sticks on. You also do pre-wetting, but the yes. thing is quite heavy. It's heavy. But yeah. when you have it in foam form, yeah. okay, it sticks on very well. Uh, I'll give, I'll give you a very simple analogy. You, uh, everybody who shaves in the morning, okay, uh, he knows if he wets his face, all water dribbles down, you know. Correct. But if you same have it in a foam form and you apply it, it just sticks on. Correct. Nothing dribbling over there. And the more you do the brush, you basically aerating. You are aerating. People who use, uh, you know, uh, the cream, and then uh, you know, they what are they doing with the brush? They are aerating that cream to form that foam. The foam is quite lighter. Yes. Okay. So that is what gives you, uh, you know, the capability of sticking on. Right. Okay. Right. So there's no magnet which is produced. Yes, <laughs> it is the makes it lighter. It, is the, it makes it lighter and it, you know, allows it to stick onto the surface. So we have a first question coming in. Let's see. Okay. Let right. me let me check. Okay. okay. Let me assist you over here. Very nice. Okay. I heard about the nine liter cast is not supplying and removed from gem. Please confirm nine liter. Is this is a Vishwanath, you, know, then, uh, you can put this on response or you can put it on a, a CCSS portal yeah. and we'll inquire and tell you. This yeah. is more of a technical session. So uh, yeah. we would like to stick away from these types of questions. Well, the, the product is but, available on GEMS, but you have to just once more clarify for you uh, whether this particular 9 meter is uh, available on GEMS. I'm 100% sure it is, but before I confirm, I want to just uh, uh, cross check. This is a product listed on gems. Yes, certainly. it is. It is definitely listed yeah. on gem. So uh, if you have a question like this, just put it on CCS portal and, uh, you know, the support team will find out, give you details uh, and also try to find out why you feel that way. Okay. Any other questions?
we'll give you one minute to you know uh, formulate your questions so yeah, you can put it on q and a any anything that comes to mind around yeah yeah please do not hesitate you know if you not understood anything we have told you if you not clear on any aspect uh, please come out and ask uh, don't worry uh, uh, if, if anything what we have told you and you have any question on that you can ask us just not asking a question would not be doing justice to a such a star product that we have here you should know the in and out of uh, this you know whenever we are exhibiting abroad this product is always placed at the front front you know, right at the front you know, because this becomes a show stopper and you know people stand and inquire and you know that we always make sure that we have as much knowledge as possible around this technology because all sorts of people you know they have different uh, 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 point of view and how they want to use this technology in their environment so the questions are very unique and every time we have a session like this it really helps uh, you know refresh uh, the knowledge on this uh, uh, technology so make the most of the opportunity what i would say uh, let's talk about something more about you know uh, give them so you have to coming in already okay. staff is more effective for which class of uh, fire class b or c why would it be B B would be a more suitable choice uh, over here, but yes, uh, B stress on A B and E class of fire. C uh, is slightly uh, uh, you know uh, saying that uh, uh, with C, if you mean electricity, also there C is defined differently in different uh, countries. But uh, if you are saying in in India, yes, uh, for C class. Uh, you are more preferred uh, is powder and uh, CO two, okay. But yes, uh, you can uh, if 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 the rating is given for C class, then we could have used it. So it uh, you we need to check on the CAF model if uh, C class is applicable there or not. But the choice between B and C, if you are, the question is which one is more effective? Certainly B, B class. B. Talk about foam and definitely B class. Nice session. Thank you so much. Application wise, how we can differentiate between high pressure and low pressure? See, both the models, uh, the ratings are uh, approximately the same. Okay. But the thing is, uh, it is just uh, on what operating pressure you can give. We are giving you two options. Uh, depending on the market scenario, if you if somebody wants a low pressure, you can offer a low pressure system. If somebody wants a high pressure, you can give a high pressure system. Okay. This is if you say feature wise and uh, if you say my favorite would be the low pressure system. Okay. But then again, uh, CISFA always gives this team, you know, opportunity to uh, uh, service uh, customer requirements. So that is why we have option of a low pressure and high pressure system, both available, uh, which are also offered, you know, uh, in the market in general. More to complete the range, so to say. More to complete the range. Ceasefire.com is another site that you should often refer to. That's where you know raw footages uh, of product demonstration videos uh, are all parked, and you get some amazing videos to watch for cat there. Uh, you know, many times in front of a customer, that's the product, that's the video you want to show rather than a edited, doctored video on the website. Range will differ for high pressure, low pressure. If you mean the throw, the throw yes. Uh, very slightly, not much. Not much. So much. About 16 meters on the higher side for the high pressure. Uh, model. Yeah, so but too you can you can you, know, you can be, be modest and say both are approximately okay. About 14, 14, uh, 12 to 14 meters right. of throw. So uh, I you know, there are many factors. See, when we say throw now uh, on paper, when we say throw, these are done in laboratory conditions. Okay. Uh, when you are effectively on the field, we uh, like you to, to be, you know, a little modest into saying because there are wind well, factors, factor. open areas, uh, the user's capability. So, uh, and what trajectory the premises is allowing it to use? You know, yes. Over the if the same. maximum is, you know, if you if you're using if you're using at 45 degree angle, mm -hmm. that is the uh, best trajectory, uh, if, uh, uh, which is uh, allows the maximum reachability. But then again, uh, if you are at a height and uh, the flame is uh, below you, then again, all this, you can even go higher than 14 meters in that case. Somebody asked me, I always said, <laughs> yeah. Is the throw pod, uh, you know, cap. 
Of course, you can look at the data sheet while you have uh, selected a particular model and you can take the details and then give it ahead. But then again, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's better to be modest and then uh, overperform than to, you know, say more and uh, the win factors reduces things and then you get into complexities. Right. And for uh, complete understanding of uh, gas, one has to also understand the individual SQ because there are variations. There is There are about 12 models, uh, you know, uh, in gas family that we're talking about within the low pressure high pressure there is a well, every division and there's a requirement of different kind of yeah. ratings throw factors uh, so it is it is always advisable that catering to your particular requirement yeah, or you what you have brought in from the com uh, yeah. uh, this thing user that kind of specification you want so you make a selection of a proper type so you can look at your price list you can look at the, <laughs> the data sheets on ceasefire site and you know select your model from there and if you're still in doubt you can put it on ccsl portal and get a confirmation so you have a always get a confirmation i i think getting a confirmation all because better. always better because you know uh, if you're doing some important project where this kind of a data is quite critical then please get back to us and get a confirmation but usually if there are any major changes or there are any changes they do come out uh, in a, a couple of days. And uh, I think uh, the learning and development team passes on that communication to you that this kind of a change has happened or this kind of stuff has happened. So all major uh, changes are projected. So uh, you, you don't have to worry about that. So uh, mostly you can you know uh, depend, uh, depend and rely on the data which is available on ceasefire site. Okay, then... Um, I think we won't have any more questions. Uh, yeah, lastly, yeah. we can also, you know, add on that, you know, the servicing of a low pressure cylinder is pretty easy. Uh, you can service, service it on site, uh, refill your extinguishing content and restart immediately. So this kind of a capability is there in CAP. So uh, I think yeah, we remember the external cartridge. Um, external cartridge could have, uh, you know, uh, depending on the size, if you have more than two liter, you have the 4.7 liter, if it's available, then uh, you could do two cycles or you can do two runs with one singular cylinder. So you can pressurize the cylinder, put out the fire, close the uh, refill, uh, refill, and then you uh, close the supply uh, cylinder or cartridge cylinder and then refill. And start again. How many cycles is it support, by the way? Uh, uh, two, cycles cycles per cycles. two cycles per show with 4.7 liter. But yeah. 4.7 liters availability, you need to check okay, before offering such a thing. But then again, uh, I would say, you know, using just a simple cartridge of two liter and doing your one cycle and then replacing is more than enough. There's <laughs> hardly been a requirement where, you know, two cycles have to be run. But then it's a marketing gimmick. If somebody says you had to provide, then we had to look at it. So you can provide two two liter uh, cylinders in that case, and uh, of course, replacing that cylinder is also a matter of minutes. It's it's not a very big uh, size. You have a chuck nut, just remove it. You put in a new cylinder, tighten the chuck nut, tighten the belt, and the cylinder is on. So it's pretty easy to replenish the system and you know start again. So I think, uh, Vishal, we won't have any more questions. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Pranav. Like always, uh, such a great session uh, we've had with you. And thank you, viewers, for taking our time and joining us uh, in this webinar today. Uh, wish you all the best. Have a good day. Have a great uh, year ahead, 2023. We are uh, well into it. But uh, since we have uh, met you today for the first time for this session, so wish you all the best in 2023. Sell more of caps. This is sell more of caps. Sell everything from Seaspire. They're all great products in their own categories. Lovely. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, and so we'll sign off now. Thank okay. You.